welcome back students here we are in the next lecture of teaching of physical science i hope that you all had gone through the previous lecture videos and now as i had promised that the next lecture video is based on the principles of teaching learning process and the principles of identifying the concepts of learning process in science so here we are with our next lecture these slides we had already gone through in the previous videos and now here we are on our next topic that is basic principles guiding choice of classroom practices for organization of concepts dear students it is very important to understood these principles which are very necessary for organization a good concept related to science teaching so there are seven principles starting from one that every learner construct her own knowledge and every learner is unique second one is importance of experience in learning third is active engagement of learner in construction of knowledge enabling teacher and enabling teacher learner relationship the implications of aims for classroom practices variety of situations and multiplicity of strategies and providing the space for parents and community so these are seven basic principles for the choice of classroom practices and in each type of lecture and each topic in each sub topic a teacher should practice these seven principles daily in order to get the full output to students so let's discuss one by one on each principle first i recommend you that you had first gone through all the previous videos then you can go through this video then it will be more beneficial for you so the first one is every learner construct her own knowledge the teacher's responsibility is to enable this process through appropriate means and process and with adequate help and support there can be several ways of construction of knowledge and there could be several ways of generalizing as well as validating the knowledge constructed as we had already discussed and as you know in your previous year syllabus that every learner construct her own knowledge according to its according to his or her own experiences so it is the responsibility of teacher to connect the knowledge to connect the topic with its construction knowledge with its previous knowledge and to give the appropriate examples appropriate situations which may enable the student to link with the teaching learning process and only then there can be a several ways for the generalizing of the concepts can be made by this by the teacher which will be beneficial for the student i hope you get this idea now the second point is the importance of experience in learning as in the previous principle i had discussed that it is very important to connect the previous experience of a student with the new one so experience is perhaps most important step in the construction of knowledge all possible opportunities to observe feel work with hands reflect and arrive at ideas should be provided to learner it is being uh, it is being said that if you allow the student to learn by himself then there will be a more concrete learning than anything else so in the science in science teaching in science learning it is the responsibility of teacher to make students experience by himself by performing some activities observance work community work group study and all that so that's the second principle is all about now the third one the active engagement of learner in construction of knowledge it refers to engagement of body as well as mind learners can be actively engaged when they feel motivated to learn they can be involved in inquiry debate discussion 
and reflection it is most important thing which i had already discussed that a student should learn constructively to the knowledge and it should by doing inquiry debate discussion and reflection to any activity an element of challenge in the context of capabilities of the learner is critical for the process of her active engagement and learning various concept skills and attitude so this particular principle that active engagement of learner is construction of knowledge it means that we have to engage the learner constantly without any hindrance if there is any type of hindrance arrive in the process of learning then definitely there is a mismanagement of your concept you have made that definitely there will be a fault in your task analysis so always remember as a science teacher it's our responsibility to engage the learner in different type of activities maybe it may be a debate it may be a group study it may be any type of a demonstrative activity it may be any type of project work but it always should be constructively and should be hindrance free if there is any type of hindrance come in the learning process then it is the responsibility of teacher to remove that hindrance at that time so these are three principles here now moving on the fourth one is the variety of situations and multiplicity of strategies are important for creating diverse experiences as you know that science is the beyond the limitation of uh, any type of <clears throat> man and the physical world so in the science lecture in the science teaching in physical science teaching uh, there will be a very various type of situations can be arrive in the classroom teaching so as a teacher you must have to understand and you have must able to make yourself to deal with those type of situations those type of strategies those type of uh, problems and for that you have to develop multiple strategies to solve different type of problems because in the science there are diversified topics there are diversified subjects there are diversified situations corresponding to different topic and corresponding to different learners it may be possible that when a learner if there is a single classroom and it may be possible that two learners have the diversified problem on the same topic so you have to develop the strategy to learn uh, from the students and to to teach student to make them uh, able so that they can Uh, come out from their problem by their own and that is called uh, diversified experiences so the different kinds of situations provide different kinds of learning experience to students exposure to a variety of learning situations such as self work small work small group work and whole class work help in winding the experimental base it also help in developing diverse perspective of learning therefore it become important to have opportunities for self learning peer learning and learning through interaction with teacher the experience of working in diverse situations also help in realizing the necessity and developing the skills of interdependence and cooperation so the basic and the experience of self learning could help in developing capability for independent action so basically the fourth principle tells us that we have to develop the multiple strategies to solve different type of diversified experience problems which came into the process of teaching learning in science so it may be possible that variety situations variety of situations and problems being arrived so develop the multiple strategies to solve them now the fifth one is the implication of aims for classroom practices this is the actually a practical very very practical principle and important also most of the time when as a science teacher we are going to teach in any classroom then our whole soul concentration our whole soul focus is on the topic of the science but there are some different type of classroom practices which are very necessary to engage the student constructively in the topic 
For example, the entire organization of the classroom and learning experiences need to be such that they promote the same ethos. So, ethos that is ethics, values, principles. For instance, the aim of promoting inquiry democracy, equity democracy, freedom and plurality through the education has to be reflected in all aspects of the pedagogy, including the strategies, the teacher-student relationship and kind of nature of learning experiences. It means that when we are going to teach the science in any type of class, apart from topic, it is also very necessary to make the democratic environment of the class so that where every student is free to ask from the teacher or free to express his or her views in the class. It should not be gender biased, it should not be gender oriented. Any type of stereotypeness towards the student should not be entertained in such type of classroom practices. Always remember, equity, values, principles, ethics and democratic environment is quite necessary for the science teaching. And that's the all about the fifth principle. I hope you can get this idea. Now the sixth one is an enabling teacher-learner relationship. Yes, this is a very important principle, very important factor. In a science teaching, it is very important to develop a rapport between teacher and learner. If you develop the rapport with the student, with the learner, then definitely a student will able to share the problems, situations and his or her hindrance in the learning with the teacher. In other cases, if they are not, if there is not a good relationship between teacher and learner, they are not good rapport establishment between the teacher and learner, then definitely there will be uh, so many anxieties and complex situations will arrive with the students and teachers, which is also uh, not good for a healthy teaching learning process. So the, this principle said that the process of learning requires an Unihabited participation and engagement of learners that can be largely facilitated by teachers. Teachers' expectations from learners have proved to be one of the important factors in determining their motivation to learn and consequently, consequently the pace and level of their learning. It is important for the teachers to develop an affectionate an equal kind of relationship with learner and that's the term is report is all about irrespective of their background and specific specification they should be responsible for making the learners feel comfortable and acceptable in the class which is one of the first requirements of learning to happen so when we talk about the develop of affectionate and equal kind of relationship, this refers to the rapport. So rapport is the, is the feeling between two individuals in which one can share the problems and happiness with the other one without any type of biasness or stereotype mentality. So this is the sixth principle, which is very important for the healthy teaching learning process and now the seventh one which is uh, mostly and most of the time is totally uh, underestimated or we can say uh, unrated but the seventh point is also very important that is importance of parents and community so providing a space for parents and community this is the thing which uh, most of the time is totally underestimated by the teachers and by the schools also. While a school is a structured space for guided learning, the process of constructing knowledge is a continuous one, which goes on even outside the school. So providing some space to community in the classroom process as part of the curricular plan could help in developing mutual appreciation and gather coordination among them. Parents or community members could be seen as a resource person for exposure to certain ideas and concepts and could be requested to share some of their experiences with the students. 
so most of the time different schools organize different type of workshops seminars for the uh, higher studies students but it is necessary to interact the student with the community person some resource person and maybe some parents whose uh, kids are in the same class it may be possible that they have personal their experience in the science so we should encourage that type of activity also so these seven are basic fundamental principle which are necessary to guide the choice of classroom practice for organization of concepts i hope that uh, this particular session is very important for you and you all are getting the points which i had made here after this session in the next lecture video we will discuss the elements of teaching lesson plan in a science so that is the also very important because on the basis of those elements you are going to finally make your own lesson plan with the, a complete including task analysis different principles and that lesson plan will be checked by your examiners your observers so till then we should wrap up this video here i hope that you enjoyed it stay home stay safe thank you